Hey everyone, Mike Sarah here. This is Customer States with the last installation of our uh, special extra medium uh, segments, My First Car Story. Let's go ahead and crack them, guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, <man. laughs> oh, do I have a slip? I've done that to everyone. I have to keep, nothing, I have to nothing keep up makes with me that. happier than this right here. Peach truly. <sighs> All right. Um, so Raspberry here. my first car was a pickup truck and, um, it was a 1966, um, Chevrolet C10 pickup. 66, 66. Holy shit. Okay. Nice. So when, um, <clears throat> you know, I've been working on cars since, uh, working on cars since I was 11, started with my dad Aww. and, um, that's awesome. The first car that my dad and I built was a 64 Chevelle. Hmm. And so when um, the time came shortly thereafter to start thinking about a vehicle for myself, you know, we started the process early and it was, you know, every Friday or Saturday morning or whatever, you know, you go down or Saturday or Sunday morning, you go down to 7-Eleven, pick up the auto trader and just start looking yes. through oh, looking dude, for vehicles. I, I used to love doing that with my fucking dad. That so was like a thing. We drove <clears throat> all over for a long time. You know, going driving up to here to check out this vehicle, driving up to here to check out this vehicle, and all I was really looking at was like older vehicles because it's kind of all I knew, and I knew that I wanted you know a quote unquote hot rod. I knew that I wanted something that I can work on and mm -hmm. and, and build and you know do all these fancy you make know, your own. Yeah, you know, I was way into you know horsepower and and, and muscle cars and things like that. So um, <clears throat> after a bunch of failed attempts at finding something that I really enjoyed. Um, I found this one ad and it was a, the 66 C10 pickup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bone stock. <laughs> Some old guy owned it. Bone stock. Hashtag bone stock. Thank you. Thank you for the <laughs> bell ring. I was waiting for that. Okay. So it was bone stock. This, you know, old guy owned it. I guess his wife had passed away and it was just sitting in a storage unit. So we, Ooh. so we go out to um god i can't even remember. i mean it was like way far away like hours Lancaster. of driving and we brought a trailer with us okay so we go out to go uh to this guy's storage unit and we meet him out there and he pulls his truck out and i mean it's you know it's not in good condition it just looks like an old 60s era truck but like everything's there you know the body's in decent shape it, it runs it drives it's great well so fine i i'm sold on it i can i can already see in my head the vision that i have for this muscle car muscle truck project mm -hmm. you know when i'm done so you know me i'm you know this is like i was probably 14 years old because okay. i i had, yeah <clears throat> I, I had just started of thinking like oh okay well in uh, a year from now i'm going to be looking at getting my permit so i want to have this project done by by that time right? you want it ready yeah so all right fine buy the truck bring it home. It's got a, a straight six in it. It's first of all, for anybody that knows the uh, C10 pickups of that area, it's a uh, long bed, um, you know, okay. long bed and a uh, small window back. So it's not super rare. It's, but there's a ton of them out there. Um, <clears throat> so bring it back to the house. First thing we do, pull the engine out, pull the transmission out. It had a straight six in it and, uh, and, and an old automatic transmission that had to go out. Hmm. So uh, automatic uh, luxury. Well, <laughs> 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 if it had to stuff for a manual, I probably would have enjoyed doing that for my first vehicle. But um, so like, you know, we, we stripped the whole vehicle down and um, you know, I, I take the paint off all the way down, all the emblems off, wow. everything. So engine transmission come out of it. All the front suspension comes out of it. All the rear suspension comes out of it. Over the course of maybe about a year before I can actually drive the thing, <laughs> I go through, put a V8 in it, put a, a three-speed turbo a hydromatic 350 transmission in it, um, go through, do rear end gears, go through, uh, do all new brake lines, all new um, – Brakes convert it from a uh, four wheel drum brake with no power brakes to a uh, four wheel disc brake with a uh, vacuum uh, assist boosted. It, it install the power steering on it, put front and rear large sway bars on it, um, it do uh, drop spindles on it. Just, I mean, a, a ton of stuff. I completely changed the whole way that this truck drives and handles. So, your dad is like also a car guy. Like, oh, he's yeah. My, my dad 
Rick. My dad is the number Hi, one Rick. reason why I am probably here today. We talking Rick or well, Eric? Yeah, Rick. he's half the reason you're here today for sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> genetically, he is half the reason why I am here hey, today. Is your dad Rick or Eric? Rick? Uh, no, he, <laughs> his his actual legal name is Frederick. Well, if he was German, uh, he'd be Eric. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that a one, fucking Air Rick joke for that, sure. That, that, Rick, Rick. That, that fly over your head there, Ellie. Yeah, I'm not, not confused. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. It's a podcast, not a vodcast. Ooh. Vodcast? I don't get that. Yeah, that's like a new thing. It's like video podcast kind of thing. Oh. Um, isn't like isn't a it just like a video? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It, you know. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's really, what the kids are into. Yeah. <laughs> We're not on that platform yeah, yet. The roadcaster advertises like vodcasting or some shit. I was like, isn't that just like a YouTube video? Come take a look yeah. at my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> um, my scene. No yeah, boy. We're, we're retrograding at this point. Right. <laughs> so, the trends of podcasting are coming back. So uh, basically, you know, I stripped the truck all the way down to bare metal, put primer on it, cover up all the holes where all the, the emblems went. Um, Did you sand it by hand? Yes. Yeah. That, same with my 73 moon. My it's, dad got that for me. He's like, nope, no power tools. A horrible you're gonna process. Lo- you're going to learn to it's love it. A horrible process. Yeah. Your your car ends up having more blood in it than your whole fucking body. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, um, so, you know, get, get the outside all stripped down. You know, that's like the least of my worries. I want to make sure that the thing runs. So I do uh, power disc brakes all the way around, you know, front and rear sway bars because the truck had a tiny little front sway bar. You know, I wanted this thing to handle, right? Mm-hmm. So do the drop suspension, all that kind of stuff and um, get the truck running. So now it's about high school time, right? And uh, I have a uh, buddy that owns a um, stereo shop um, up kind of by Kevin, you know, where the jumps were. Uh, that you described in one of the last. Uh, I may know the jumps you were describing. Yeah. Uh, so the jumps where his S10 uh, had some fun. So are you talking about innovations? I might be talking about innovations. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a company that was started by high school students that went to the high school that I went to in ninth grade. Um, yep. And I think like the year they got out of high school, they started this stereo shop. They did everything from like stereos to gullwing doors and fucking you name it. If you wanted something done on a car that wasn't really mechanical, they would probably do it. Yeah, they they take sure. a stab at it. Let's yeah, put it that yeah. way. Great parties. So, yeah. Oh, that's why I was friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I, you know, uh, speaking of which, there's a party down at the shop and I'm driving already. You know, I've got my hot rodded truck out. It's lowered. It's got all this great suspension on it. So actually really handles very well. I had like, um, I think Falcons were the the good tires back then. I Falcon. Some, yeah, re- really good Falcons on them. And um, so uh, coming in all, all hot on the, uh, in the left-hand turn to go out to uh, or to go up to, to the shop, right? Mm-hmm. And take that left-hand turn pretty quick mash on the gas and sure as shit the rear end comes out from you know behind me and uh do a little spin out and put it the right side into a curb Uh uh-huh and And uh, how long have you had it at this point how long i mean i had had it for like probably over a year but i had just been driving like right for for a little bit you know i probably had it for a year and a half so i'm gonna let the listeners in on a little bit of a secret here mike and i are actually roommates yeah. Uh, we've been roommates for over eight years now, seven years. I it's got to be it's, it's got to be eight now. years. Yeah, it's got to be eight years. So it's so be eight years. me and you have been together basically as long as these two have been together. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think you guys' sex is better though. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you probably couldn't prove that. So I think I think the Wait. if I'm not mistaken, the nightstand in your room. Is that wheel the Am nightstand right? in my room? Is one of the wheels from my accident? Yeah, I actually, um, yeah, nice. I, I, never I made this. I made a nightstand out of the wheel from my crash truck and the old um, camshaft and uh, piston rods and pistons um, as like the legs of it. Fuck yeah! Um, I'll <laughs> I'll put a picture up on the on the socials. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and, and that that was the worst wheel that I saved because I obviously had to buy two new wheels and the wheels were like discontinued because they were like centerline wheels from 
you know, the 1980s or yeah. whatever that, mm-hmm. that came on the truck. Cause like, I didn't have money for that stuff. You know, the guy put wheels on it or whatever. And so I didn't have money for that kind of stuff. And like my dad jumped through some hoops and called center line and found somebody to like make us castings or whatever. But I remember like for Hanukkah one year, you know, or that year or whatever, it was two freaking big boxes. And I was like, those are the wheels for the truck that I'm Hell missing. Yeah. Sweet. So, so it was really cool. I was driving around on the Steve Leeds for a little bit in the rear. Um, but finally got, got my wheels back after that terrible, terrible accident. I also went what'd to the, you, what'd you get for the other seven nights? <laughs> <laughs> the batteries for the remotes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in addition to that accident, um, I also had to, um, have my parents, uh, pay for having the strain, uh, f- frame, frame straightened. Um, I, strain frightened. Strain frightened. <laughs> We've recorded four of these episodes. Today. <laughs> <laughs> We've been cracking them every time. <laughs> it's been a long night. Lucky guys. you're getting four. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Um, yeah, so I had to have the uh, frame straightened, uh, replace a bunch of suspension components. Um, I had actually bent the differential housing, so I had to go to the junkyard <laughs> and Christ. get a uh, whole differential housing mm-hmm. out of a uh, '67 truck, which ironically uh the rear end was just like a little bit narrower than my 66 truck Mm -hmm. but it had different gears in it Uh, and so i was like (laughs) okay well good i'm okay with like the 373s that i'm putting in right now but it's narrower and now my uh tires are rubbing on the inside Inside wall yeah yeah, on the inside of the fender walls uh i then had to cut the uh fender wells in the yeah, back god, out for, god forbid and you get the actual them. part that fits the truck no fuck that i'm gonna from cut 66 what do, what do you expect me to, they don't make these anymore yeah i know i get it i, I mean I, I was lucky to find a 67 in the junkyard national parts group didn't make something or OPG. Dude, npd o, opg none of those places why you can't you can't get the like i could buy like a curry OPG? enterprise custom one yeah he said OBG. Oh, i said yn for you know 2500 dollars. i went to the junkyard and pulled yeah, out with my dad true. In you know an hour and a half, and it as cost we, us. Not, after, not, not I'm not sure that truck was a lot faster. It was faster <laughs> after you uh, after you cut some parts. It was as we were saying, fucking mint, and fucking <laughs> mint. Okay, so uh, let's flash forward a little bit to my um, uh, tech. Uh, I wouldn't even say like tech years. Uh, let's, it was, I was going to trade school. Mm. Um, so we all know what this trade school is that I was, uh, Cranberry the Cranberry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now again, like I had hinted at, um, I, I believe, uh, I actually owned this truck for, I think over 10 years. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. I, it took me from, um, when I, you know, my first vehicle, when I first got my license or even my permit <laughs> and all the way until I was working at the dealership. I mean, I had it. Uh, I had it for like three years or something like that while I was working at the dealership. Um, so I had this vehicle for a long time. So when I was going to the trade school, um, the shop that I was working at at the time when I was work, uh, going to school out there was a metal shop, like a fabrication shop behind okay. us. So you know, I always heard the noises, blah blah. And there's like always like all cool rigs and race cars in the parking and the lot. Ugga-duggas. And so the other thing that ties into this is that um, the drift racing guy that I talked about. Yep. He introduced me to the do metal you, fab shop. Do you think the angels watch me when I drift? The metal fab <laughs> shop is how I got the job at the automotive shop oh, I was working okay. at my okay. store. So I knew both places. So, you know, uh, the guy that worked at the metal shop, Jeff, had always seen my truck. And, you know, I had told him, like, oh, yeah, you know, I'd really like to put it on airbag suspension and, you know, like, let it lay frame and, you know, see notch the rear end and blah, blah. And so he starts putting all these ideas in my head. Oh, we could totally do that. You know, we'd go to, down to IMS, you know, industrial metal supply. We, we get all the tubing and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And there's, you know, the air supply place down the street. They got all of the bags and the this, that, blah, blah. Okay, fine. So I end up spending a ton of money to get – tubular upper and lower control arms um the tubular rear arms all the full air suspension kit half inch lines um (laughs) solenoids uh two air compressors a tank a 10 switch box so i i hook all the stuff up on my truck and from be uh from in front of the rear diff i cut off the frame rails in the back take the bed off the truck cut off the frame rails in the back and make a whole new frame section that is not you know c-notched to make it clear the differential to mm-hmm. lay frame it's actually hoops 
and then I have to design a new bed because I've now changed Jesus. the contours of the bed. Sure. I put a fuel cell in it. I mean, I I have completely modified this truck. Do you have pictures of this truck? I do. <laughs> I got, do. You got to post I, them. I'm going to post some of them you because should. some of this stuff, it wasn't my best work because it was my first work, but I'm still proud of it. Way proud of it. Yep. And like, so this next part that I'm going to tell you about, the dash that I made, um, they had made dash, uh, like like instrument cluster kits for this truck okay. with like, you know, like auto meter or sure. Dakota digital things. And, you know, those were like really expensive layouts. Mm. And <clears throat> when I was doing the dash portion of it, I actually worked at um, PAW. Uh, I think I can say that now. I don't even think they're in business anymore. Uh, Performance Automotive Warehouse. It was a, a mostly California based company with like four stores out here, a giant warehouse. And so like we'd sell everything from like, you know, engine air filters to complete crate engine kits, custom made however you wanted okay. them with like blowers and stuff like that. So it was performance automotive warehouse. It's like fucking uh, Hawaii racing. It, yeah. Well, it's better than Hawaii racing. But you know what I mean? Like it's that better. Kind of store. It's better. It's fine. Hawaii <laughs> racing. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So I was working at PW at the time. And so I, you know, I just got all of this stuff. For, for this truck mm -hmm. so um when i was making the dash you know i bought all of my auto meter gauges in the exact same you know way that i wanted them with the face and the lights and the trim bezels and the sizes and stuff like that and i planned out this dash and i went down to again industrial metal supply and i got a piece of um just you know like 3 16 inch thick aluminum mm -hmm. plate okay. and i made little cutouts and i cut all my little dials out on, on you know all my little gauge pods out <clears throat> and polish the thing and i mean i've seen the truck out here recently i'm pretty sure that that's still like a centerpiece of the truck because no joke you've seen was... the truck out here yeah oh, oh yeah. shit uh so since i sold it it's changed hands at least twice and i've met every single person that's owned it so oh, far cool. and it's still except drives. for i think the last person i think the last person i've met but like we never exchanged like, phone I, numbers. I built this, and I finally, I finally Dude, exchanged phone numbers with them. My name is welded. My name is well, or my initials rather, are welded into the rear of the um, new frame section that I got. Seriously, I, I, I told him like, hey, I, you know, let's sign our initials on. It. He's like, oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> the fuck I, I do. do. <laughs> Pass me the torch, bro. <laughs> Put my name on this thing. But yeah, I mean, like I signed it everywhere. I had a um, uh, underneath the driver's side visor. I had a checklist that I had with um, Sharpie on there of like what I wanted to do. I put bucket seats in it. I crossed the bucket seats off. I wanted to put the tack in there. I crossed the tack off. You know the air suspension. That was you know when I was you know still in high school after I had graduated high school and was at the trade school. I crossed that off. You know. Would you buy it back? I've tried to buy it back. No shit. Oh, have yeah. you really? The, the, so the so the current owner of it. Um, the last owner uh, kind of fucked it up. I had bought like really expensive wheels and tires to try and uh, increase the curb appeal on it when I wanted to sell it. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought the thing looked great, but somebody put like those rooms were whack. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, Sean I just heard your fire. fucking heart just fucking implode. <laughs> These are great microphones because, no, yeah, you did. Yeah, exactly. You did. I'll post pictures. It looked great. Anyway. They were like Bobby Digital fucking rims. They're stupid. I'm Bobby Digital. Get at us. Get at us on Facebook. Do you think the rims are whack? Facebook poll. So they, they had put even whacker rims. I mean, it, it looked like um, something that came out of like a, a Dumbo cartoon or something like that on the truck. There's like big like white walls and like, you know, steelies. Uh, and sure. Like, looked terrible. It like didn't even fit the, the truck. And um, yeah, uh, so like like the, the, the truck was all torn down and uh, I saw it driving, you know, I was driving home actually from work and I saw it driving in front of me. I'm like, man, that, that looks like my truck. Like, it can't be. I drive alongside. I'm like, it can be. <laughs> oh my god, that's my truck. I, I built that truck. That's my truck. You know, I'm like hollering at this guy from like you know the car next to him. He's like, what the fuck is this crackhead yelling at me for? <laughs> He's like, is your name Mike Sarah? I'm like, what? Your what? Name's well done on my, my brain. He's like, I'm like, yeah, that's 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 my truck. He's like, okay, pull pull over, pull over. So like, we pulled over into the prominent parking lot, and I like I you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Fi finally look at it, and like I see it, and I'm telling him all this, that, and the other, and it was just it was great to see the truck again. Pure it was, fucking nostalgia. Yeah. Wait, so is that when you tried to buy it back? 
Uh, I mean, I had made the jokes. All, I mean, I've always had multiple cars. I'd made the joke like, hey, if you ever want to sell this thing, you know, but now um, I still have the current owner of it. I think uh, his number in my phone. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm waiting for the day when I have. You should try. Some, yeah, you should definitely try and get too, that back. Too much money and uh, too many dollars. I can't not wait enough to sense. see what it looks like. I, like, or I miss like, that at least there, there. So I miss the Mustang. And I miss the the. You um, probably shouldn't miss the Mustang. I Dude, that I Mustang love was such that Mustang. A fucking piece of shit. You know you could talk shit about my cars all you want. I fucking <laughs> love that thing. That thing was such a fucking piece of shit. Man. Again, turned a shitty V6 Mustang into a damn near Cobra, and it was fucking awesome with a really you, crazy you stereo fucking, system. You fucking hear that there, Kev? So, so damn near Cobra. The part, the part, of part the near vehicle, Cobra. <laughs> the part of the vehicle that you have to exist within was absolute shit the interior the steering wheel everything about it was like fucking mickey mouse and fucking like the seat uh, the i'm pass- sorry did the car get you from a to b did the it pass- did it dude, transport me such, everywhere i needed to go that's a tech thing to no, say that, you're, you're, the car the worked as an automobile story. you're talking about the seat wasn't comfortable or or no. it slightly rocked back and yeah, forth under yeah, acceleration because yeah, yeah. it wasn't bolted down all the, the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> the passenger seat was missing bolts. I don't sit in the passenger seat. It didn't bother me. The steering wheel. Calm <laughs> down, Debbie. Lucky there was a seat there at all. When you would go to drive it, the steering wheel was like so fucking old and fucked up that like it was like gummy. So like you would go to hold <laughs> it, it was, and it would, yeah. it would rotate around the metal ring. Oh so, fuck! Yeah, it was dude. it was really bad. Was had I had so more bad. money, that would have been something I would have replaced. Dude, a Momo wheel for a hundred bucks. Fuck you. I was too busy worrying about buying other stuff. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> but uh, like, oh, my race you guys car. do live together. <laughs> I was just gonna say, and I thought me and you fucking bickered. <laughs> uh, it's it's all out of love. It's Kevin love Kevin loved other. my truck, and he loved my Mustang. Cut off the microphone because he can't say anything else right now. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody hear anything? No, I don't hear nothing at all. <laughs> Give me that microphone back. Um, all right. Well, uh, I just uh, I want to thank you guys for um, having another uh, great segment with us. And uh, we'll have uh, some more little segments some, for some titty bitties. <laughs> some some titty bitties. <laughs> some titty bitties. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you guys think of titty these bitty. little stories and stuff. I certainly have more that I can go on any too. number oh, yeah. of my vehicles. I want to. Yeah. I want to talk about the death of the Nissan. <laughs> yeah, we'll maybe turn that into something. Just be maybe. like, oh, the, the, oh of, the death of vehicles. The death of. If I, you guys like yeah. it, and I am going to give the pictures to the internet of my of Jeep the Yeep. burning down. You you do have those still, I do right? Have, I okay. have we've seen we've seen them. Just log Wasn't into Wasn't that like internet? the first episode, or was that Something. the second episode? No, that was when we were talking about our trip through the desert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Maybe that was episode because five or we six. were talking yeah. about like that was my first realization of I got uh, a jeep. Yeah. Oh God. I've got, Thank I've got you, truly. A, a slideshow oh, of my, my jeep <laughs> carnage. Oh man, I can't wait to see that. Okay, um, let's wrap it up. Uh, again, thank you uh, everybody. Thank you to uh, Anchor. And uh, Spotify, Google Casts, Apple, Extra Medium Shorts, Extra Medium Truly. Shorts, Truly for sure, Rode Microphones, um, <laughs> Mic Tests, <laughs> Mic <Mike, laughs> <Mike checks. laughs> DiGiorno Pizzas, Oh, Paw Patrol. Uh, it's not delivery, Paw. it's DiGiorno. Yeah, Paw Patrol because he worked for PAW, so technically he was Paw Patrol. Okay. Paw Patrol. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the fuck that means. It's if you're Try, a yeah, parent, if, you know what that is. I was going to say, or you live with your niece, you know what that is. Yeah. Anyway. And with that degeneration <laughs> of, of, of this episode, uh, no one's listening anymore. We're going to end it right now. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to my uh, extra medium first car short story. Um, we uh, we want to tell you to reach out to us on uh, Twitter and Instagram at customer underscore states. Uh, Facebook at facebook.com slash customer states podcast. And you can always email the show. Uh, tell us what you think. Give us some recommendations, uh, voice memos. We are ready for the gambit of whatever you want to send. Uh, that email is customer states podcast at gmail.com. Thank you again so much for listening and sponsors get at us.